Dan Perkins, Jasper County Soil and Water Cover Crop Guy. Here are the plots that got roller crimped. It is now August 1st, and you can see it's a it's a weedy match, so, mess. So the point here is that this was all hairy vetch. Nothing was done, no crop was planted after the crimping, and you can see it's quite weedy. Um, and as we move over, here was the crimson clover strip, which we have a tomato plant that's very healthy. I've done nothing to it, um, and it's super strong. And then here is uh, the first roller crimp cereal rye, and you can see, for having no crop canopy for shade, it's relatively weed free. Uh, morning glory kind of tends to be the worst around here. And then here, this is the cereal rye that was that the weed pressure is far greater. Roll crimped. You can see cereal rye, this was a, a barley strip that was a lot shorter. And you can see the weed pressure is really great. And then here's an Aroostook, an Elbon um, variety. And then the tomato plant that I seeded after crimping. It's not near as robust or there's not even fruit on it. Um, and I have not watered these. And so that's the difference in terms of fertility that a straight cereal rye can make versus a um, crimson clover. So with some weed management, I really like this concept of cereal rye and crimson clover together for crimping. Um, and yeah, and this is more the flail mode, just another perspective. So far weedy, I'm gonna flail mow all this, uh, get this covered and not let any of this stuff go to seed and, um, and then really producing tomatoes um, and transplants in here next year. I'm that confident in the system now that I've tweaked it a little bit. So just an update, August 1st, my weedy mess, but on purpose. All right, Abby, I need your help.